YouTube, this is Freaza, and today I'm going to be playing one of my games um, on um, a site called Beyond.com. The programming I use to make this game is Dream Maker. Um, you can download um, Beyond on um, Beyond site and um, program your own Dream Maker games or play Beyond games. Um, anyway, I'm just going to dive right into this. Um, I've already downloaded Beyond and my game again, and um, your mail. Uh, I can't remember much about this game because I actually made it two years ago, um, near when I started um, programming. Well, a bit, almost a year after that actually. So, um, yeah. Uh, here you select the element you want your character to use throughout the game, and then. Yeah, you select um, your special attack. Um, this does nothing really. It just um, it shows the name of the attack every now and again um, when you're fighting. Um, if I remember correctly, you defeat enemies and you can use their bones at the altar to restore your health or you can trade them in for um, XP for one of your stats. Um, here in the command section, you'll um, Things will pop up and vanish as you get close to and far away from them. Certain um, instances. Uh, here we have, I think it's a phoenix. Um, well, it doesn't really look like one. Um, I'll start attacking it and see if I survive. Um, it's text based, so everything will appear here. There's like no animation. Um, I actually only made one game using Dream Maker. Well, I made a few, but this is the only one I uploaded, so... Um, I didn't really learn too much. Um, but every um, NPC is a special attack, which is pretty cool. And I used HTML to give the special attacks colours. Um, the Flame Bat... Oh, it's a Flame Bat. Um, uses Fireballs, uh, which does 75 damage. Um, you can walk away and recover. Because the enemies won't actually follow you, they'll just instantly counter attack every time you attack. Um, the game has two bosses, um, two gigantic areas, but areas of like sub areas and stuff like that trees, rivers, um, deserts, and um, two bosses. Um, the game also has loads of stats, which you'll see when I level up. here, it's um, died. Once you've killed an NPC and you try and attack it, um, it'll just say the monster's already been defeated and you can walk through it. Um, here it will um, say that I've leveled up, and I am now level 2, and then it'll say it to the world. Um, but I never actually got into making this an online game as it was far too difficult. Um, and I had only made one game at the time so I'm sure if I'd made a few more I would have added online capabilities, but um, I actually ended up remaking this game on Roblox using Roblox LUA and named it Freya's Escape, but Freya's Escape is actually based off of this game. <laughs> um, the elements, bosses, um, the whole type of game. Um, both games uh, have a point of defeating the Demon King, but Freya's Escape is only loosely based off this game. Anyway, back to the point. Um, you have strength based um, strength hits, uh, defense, med meditation, uh, maximum health, and base special attack. Um, the only real stats are health, meditation, defense, and strength. It's actually a lot more like Freya's escape than I remember. 271 gold. And here we have um, an earth ball, or earth slime, and it uses earthquake. Which is 40 damage. Oh, you have one experience. It's a very simple RPG, it only takes um, about half an hour to complete, so. I think I'll just uh, run through the entire game. And that's a fire slime over there, in case you didn't know. Oh, I like these ones. Um, these are, I think they're poison bugs, it's like the normal bugs, except they're um, a lot 
stronger and poisonous. And here's my special deck, Fire Dragon. Currently, it um, can do about 80 damage, I reckon. Um, but it did 72 damage there. I think the um, colored special, uh, the colored um, special attacks are a really good feature that it um, added. I wasn't going to add them at first, but then I, you know, fought it through, and without them, the game would be significantly more boring. Um, the game actually has a dodging system, um, well, an evasive system, um, but it's kind of hard to use um, because uh, it's only effective if you're like, several levels um, ahead of your opponent. Uh, you have a chance of dodging their attack. I can't remember how it works at all though. It might be something to do with an agility level or something, but I cannot remember for the life of me. And my special attack did a lot more, a lot less damage than the last time there. Venom bite. It doesn't actually poison you. It's just a name. But yeah, I have to admit it's a pretty interesting twist having each uh, enemy have its own special attack, which can be extremely powerful or weak. Um, some weak enemies have strong um, special attacks, just to mix it up a little bit. I have to admit, it was a worthwhile add-on. Oh, and here we have a ninja, the only other humanoid enemy except one of the bosses. Oh, 101 damage, that's a lot more than I thought. If you click experience over here, it will tell you your level and how much experience out of max experience you need until your next level. Um, so yeah, I only need 4.5 experience. Um, the experience system in the game is very good, although it's a little weird, because um, usually in games level 3 you need, like, I don't know, 200 XP at least to get to the next level, but in this game 4.5 is all you need. Um, nonetheless. Um, I remember uh, I had a lot of trouble making a perfect level up system, um, which wouldn't get too hard later on in the game. Um, but half of it is really just um, making harder NPCs that give more XP later on. Oh. The Static Hedgehog. Um, I believe this is one of the harder enemies in the first area of the game. Um, it can do 120 damage. And it just got me in 5 HP. Um, if you die, you go all the way back to the start of the game and have to walk all the way back here. But if I remember correctly, they do give you a lot of XP. Um, this, oh, I died. Uh, this game is inspired quite a lot by um, Final Fantasy and Naruto. Um, some of the attacks you can make for your special attack are um, water element and uh, vortex to make water vortex, or um, sand and coffin to make sand coffin, or fire and ball to make fire ball, um, wind wave, um, a lot of attacks that are in Naruto. Um, it is heavily inspired by Naruto and Final Fantasy. <laughs> Incidentally, um, Final Fantasy X is my favourite of the, the bunch. playing this game through several times, um, I remember it takes about uh, level 10, um, yeah, you need about level 10 to complete the game, um, but I think you can do it earlier. Oh yeah, um, this is the first um, uh, shop um, you can come across, um, the shopkeeper here only will, will only sell iron sword and seal sword, um, I think I have enough for seal sword, so yeah. And now I have a lot more um, options here. Destroy a weapon, unequip steel sword, and equip steel sword. And I don't ask why you can change your gender when you equip the sword. It's cause I um, could uh, didn't really want to bother learning overlays since I only intended to make one game. Um, so I just made different sprites for each um, sword. Um, all the sprites in the game are made by me, except the character sprite itself. Um, I can't remember what game that's from, but it's 